I came across what I can only describe as a web OS. It, it popped up in my Pixels Google feed. I wanted to have a look at it today and, and just see what it's about and whether I can host it myself or anything like that. So this is about Pooter. So Puta, yeah, it, it's what I can describe as a web OS running in a browser with m much of the functionality that you would find on any desktop OS. There are some caveats to that, of course. Mostly that the apps that are available at this current time are small because it's all done in JavaScript. So let's have a quick look. So here's the apps. And there is an app center, so you can check out what they've got. There's a browser, solitaire, spider, basic stuff. So let's have a look at the browser. My free session will end in an hour. And that's why I wanted to see if I could um, host it myself. I'm going to bother signing in. On Tuesday, I had a bit of a lag try recording this video, but something did going a bit weird with my LPO at the moment and it, it just it wasn't usable so I've tried bumping up the the sample rates not the sample rates now I'm talking rubbish I, I've checked let me just go down to one of my early ones earlier I haven't done this for quite some time there's no copying in that audio a Linux distribution it's gonna take a while interesting yeah these little things that are ready to be... Oh, there it is. There's a bit of popping. Okay. Anyway, so the browser works. There's a notepad. There's an explorer. All empty, of course. Doesn't know that. Okay. That's fine. So <laughs> there's a terminal. And an about. There you go. It says it's personal cloud. That's interesting personal cloud computer anyway not really what i want to look at what i want to look at is whether i can self-host this and what does it take to get it running so on my test box i'm going to go ahead and pop over to their github page because it's all open source it's all available in, in github under hey pooter pooter and let's just uh follow the instructions so there's there's two little notes here and let me just change to that there we go so there's a couple of notes here for for local development and self-hosting now there is something in the self-hosting notes that's not there oh it is there okay we'll come to that in a minute right so first things first let's go back to the test bed first things first this is a completely out of the box install it's completely fresh so I'm just going to actually I'm not going to bother doing that so I'm just going to package install the things that we need all in one go so I'm going to use my text editor text editor of choice now this runs with using npm so we'll install that and we'll install git because we're going to be checking out of git so let's get those this is the quarterly packages hopefully they're good enough for this I'm sure they will be Get those installed whoosh there we go that's all that installed let's clear the screen okay so let's go git clone https github.com hey puta puta am i right that's right so let's clone that that'll take a very short one out of time let's cd into it have a quick look have a look in there quickly Okay, right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to just get this installed and, and see what happens. I, I have no idea if this runs on FreeBSD. I have no idea if this is going to run outside of a Docker container. <laughs> say that again. I have no idea if this is going to run outside of a Docker container. Let's find out. Because the instructions, they mention using Docker and using Docker Compose, which I don't want to do. So, let's install and see how we go. Right, so, 
So we're in Puta, so npm install. This might take a minute. Let's uh, there finish. Five moderate severity vulnerabilities, eh? Yeah, whatever. And let's just go around and around in circles. Right, so npm start. See what happens. Right, okay, so it's started up, which is good. However, it's running on a bit of a weird one. So we'll close it and let's have a quick look. So we need to volatile config config.json. Okay, so uh, Pico volatile volatile config config.json. Okay. So let's change that for a start. Let's just put it on port 80 for now. Let's change that to, we're going to use my test domain name, HTTP, HTTP, and then we'll go puta at rehtech.uk. Right, let's make sure everything else is there. Yep, 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 yep. That looks fine to me. So let's start it again, shall we? There we go. That's more like it. So let's have a quick look at uh, at what it says there, shall we? Okay. Room. Right. So there we go. So use the right keyboard. My session is invalid. I'll be logged out. And it's worked straight away. Well, that's quite impressive. Now, I did make a couple of DNS changes to make sure this works. So if you can tell... It's in my domain name, so I added that domain name to DNS and also api.puta.garyhtech.uk. Otherwise, all I got was a blue screen. So as long as they're pointing and port forwarding or however your routing works, this will work. Ah, now look at that. There's almost no apps there. Now that's interesting. So if you go to puta.com, you'll get a lot more apps. Draw, code, I don't think any of that is in my one. Editor, terminal, camera, recorder, viewer, player, PDF. Right. I wonder if I can get to that. Probably not, I would say. Yeah, it's not there, is it? Well, now that's interesting because I can change that. I doubt that will work. But we'll try it. I mean, funnier things have happened. So it'd be really nice if I could just sort of paste in a couple of URLs and it gets me what I want. I doubt it's going to be that simple. But we'll give it a go. This won't work. This can't work. Well, it's opened the window, but <laughs> there's nothing in it. So, okay. <clears throat> this is going to be something that I'm going to keep an eye on. Because obviously there are things missing, but... You know, this is something that might develop... I would assume it would definitely develop. Fair amount of apps there. I'm assuming they're all the ones that are on this anyway, but yeah.
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on this because this is quite a fascinating project. Check it out. Puta.com. Link will be in the description. It's going to be worth following and seeing how they, uh, how they get on with that. For now, though, I'm going to leave it there. It, it runs on FreeBSD, which is quite nice to see because you quite often see these things don't. Clearly, this one does, which is great. It's just a matter of time until those apps are there, I suspect. Or until they release any documentation on how to add those apps. We'll leave it there. We'll keep an eye on this with great anticipation. But for now, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. And don't forget to um, do all the usual YouTube stuff. Share, like, subscribe if you really want to. Discord server link down below. I'll see you next time. Take care.